Hello, and welcome to Word of Hope. I'm Brother Joe Trout, coming to you for Monday of the fifth week in Easter. And today's first reading from Acts of the Apostles is one of my favorites. It, that might just be because it's a nice change of pace from what we've been getting, uh, because this is an incredibly comic reading. In it, Paul and Barnabas have been traveling about, and it's not been going well. Uh, people were just trying to stone them, and they had to flee, right? So they're conceivably at a pretty low point, but, you know, they're really dealing with genuine danger. Okay? And then they get to Lystra. They heal a man who's been crippled from birth, and this time, people don't try to stone them. Instead, they worship them like they are Zeus and Hermes. Right? And they, uh, it says Paul had to fight them off because the people were trying to offer sacrifices to them. Right? I mean, what a bizarre contrast of what they've gone from uh, the you know, abject misery of being you know, fleeing for your life to people are trying to worship you. Right? And I have to wonder, you know, would I get tricked into thinking that this was a success? Because it's really easy in life to get praise, to have good, seemingly good things happening, and you can get lost in it. But Paul doesn't think this is a success. It's not. They're trying to preach Christ. They're not trying to make themselves gods. But it's really easy in life to just enjoy the praise, enjoy good things coming your way, and get lost in figuring out, wait, was this a good thing? Was that actually a bad thing? Because we don't get a sense that Paul thinks this was better, actually, than the stoning, or the attempted stoning. Right? Um, so maybe ponder for today. What criteria do I actually use for deciding if this was a good day or a bad day? If my life is going well or poorly? How am I actually evaluating that? Not just what do I think I should be valuing, but what do I actually value? What I have recognized, as people are trying to offer sacrifice to me, what I have recognized that this is terrible. In my life, am I, am I really looking at the right things to call this good? And what things am I just looking at? Okay. So maybe those two questions, hold them up for yourself. What are my actual criteria by which I consider my life good or successful? And what should they be? Do they align? Are they diverging? And in that space, maybe ponder and offer that to God, that we may follow with Paul, who is running the race towards Christ, seeking after single-mindedly the thing that he knows, this is what I want my life to be measured by. What is that for you? Right. A wonderful day, and God bless.